here is the Mona Lisa painting by Leonardo da Vinci. And here are different works of art by other artists who used part of his painting. They either, <clears throat> excuse me, copied it and drew it in their own way, or they actually used a photograph of it and added their own ideas. Today, you're going to appropriate the Mona Lisa, that means take what he did, what Da Vinci did, you're going to take this, but make it your own. Add your own creative ideas. You can change the clothing, change the background, and we will probably draw more of the body than we see here, so that we can draw more in the background. So we're gonna do it more like cartoon style, so that it's easy to draw, being that it's an unbelievable painting, we're gonna simplify it. So when we draw, and we know we're gonna change things, always sketch very lightly. So later you can change it up. If you do this, it's too hard to erase. It gets really into the paper. So again, we're all gonna follow this but do it lightly and you can change whatever you want later as long as it looks like Mona Lisa. So if you start about four fingers down from the top or it could be a little higher, just make an oval. You know how to make an oval. It could be a circle, could be a skinnier oval, it doesn't matter. I'm drawing way too dark for sketching. I'm doing that on purpose so you can see what I'm doing. Next, two lines for the neck. So far, so easy. Two lines coming out from the neck. They can slope down a little bit. Not too long. And then from here, you're going to draw the upper arm. That's where the elbow will be. And her arms are like folded over, so in with one arm, in with the other arm. And the other side of each arm the left arm is like a letter L, actually. And sleeves. This is really dark, but remember, maybe you'll make short sleeves and change the shirt. Don't worry too much about the hand. It's like a cartoon drawing. You just start near the top and go out in, out in, out in, out in. And you assume the thumb is under the other hand. If there's a space, just do that to make them connected. Now what about her dress? This is one of the things that makes it look like the Mona Lisa. A big letter U shape. And she does have a shawl going over. It's like an upside down letter U. It's either a shawl or a scarf and if you're going to make that you can change the color or the design but if you're going to make that this would be how you can get started on it. Now, as you see, the Mona Lisa only goes down to about here. And we have all this room so we can draw things in the background. So next, just make two lines down so you know you're not going to leave this empty. Later, it can be a pair of jeans or it can be the dress looking realistic, kind of like her dress. But at least you remember. You will have a horizon line somewhere, depending on what you're drawing. Now, the face. Her hair, start with the hair, easy. A curve, and she has a part in her hair. The top of the hair, start at the top and wave down. The other side, wave down. Unless you make it straight later, then you can make it straight. The eyes are very simple. It's like you're drawing eyebrows, but they're really the top of her eyelid, see? With the circles under and a letter L for the nose. 
and a smile. At this point, you decide what you're going to do to make it your own. You can be New York City, New York City. You can have it at the beach. You can have it in an island. You are, you can make it look like your little sister. Okay, let's see what you come up with.